Hello there, it's Brad from the Zion Project and today I have casual decklist videos. Today I'm going to start with Cosmo, one of my favourites that I've been using for a while. I'll start, let's uh, get straight into it. Three tin can. I usually like starting off with this guy because he's a he's a nice little search for 500 life. And for other sidekicks I play Strawman, one Saw Trooper. Sometimes this effect does get used to search for a not search. Rebot. Is it reborn? Yeah, special summon a psychic from a graveyard at a thousand life. And then I've got three Wicked Witch. Who, for 1k, just makes herself indestructible by Blacklock Artifacts that turn, which can be very useful if you need to stall for a turn. And I play one Good Witch, whose ability just to flip a card face down does sometimes come up. And finally, for the psychics, I use Triple Farm Girl. Who, when causes damage, pay 500 to search for a Cosmo, which generally is going to be one of your big ships like Destroyer or Eclipser. For my slightly bigger ones, we use Dark Lady as a negate. Well, we've got two Dark Lady there. We, then for the big, for the actual ships, we use a Slip Rider, a Spell Trap Card Destruction. We use one Forerunner, an indestructible, well, not indestructible, an untargetable card at 28. That just gives you a okay life every single turn. Triple Eclipser and double Destroyer. This ratio would be the other way around if I had another Destroyer. I'd use three Destroyer and two Eclipser. But I currently don't have a third Star Destroyer. I'll need to go get one of those. And last one is one Dark Planet. Because occasionally when you, when you mill your cards from Tin Can, You've got your cards in the graveyard of equal to level 10, so you can easily summon Dark Planet, who is just a humongous negate card. And for hand traps, I just play Triple Ash, because why not? Sometimes it's useful to negate your opponent's things in their turn. And spells, Triple Cosmo Town. You, you kind of always want to see Cosmo Town. It's so useful. Let's you re jig your hand around as well. Triple x -Rav. Because the extra deck doesn't particularly matter in this deck. Providing the opponent doesn't summon something really huge. Something untargetable. And then we've got 3 e Telly. Because we're playing so many cards you can uh, play with it. You always want to start with one of your little guys. To search or get yourself some extra advantage. One Monster Reborn. And a little a tech card I use which is just Psychic Eraser Laser. Just send one card your opponent controls to the graveyard, and then they gain life equal to its attack. But it's just send, send it, just gets it straight out of the way. Then we'll play two Cosmodio, which is just uh, destroy one card you co Cosmo card you control, just banish one of your opponent's cards. And then for my final three, I just play a triple Dogmatic Punishment, which can be useful for just dumping Entis or some other things like that. So for the extra deck, it doesn't particularly matter what you play, so I just play one winner. I play lots of nightmares. These can be anything, because it's just fodder for my, uh, uh, hey, my draw card. And for the actual ones, I play one Skull Warrior, because he can just banish himself to destroy one card on the field. If you don't want to immediately destroy one like Entis does, and Triple Entis. So it's actually a nice little uh, casual deck. If people like a lot of like these sort of videos. I'll do some combo lists as well. So I've got quite a few of these decks to build. So that that's Cosmo. And uh, thanks for watching there. And I'll see you on the next videos.